and probably my biggest piece of advice about revision ACL surgery, it needs to be two-stage. So it needs two operations to fix it. Operation number one is to go through and actually re-bore the holes. So they basically take the old ACL out, re-bore the holes in the tibia and the, and, the, and, and the femur, and then they pack it with what we call a bone cart crunch or cortical bone, which is taken from dead people. It's an allograft, and they take out bone that's been sort of put into a, a mixer, so broken up. And it's like violet crumble, like that violet crumble sort of stuff you have in those chocolate bars, and you pack it into the pack it into the bone. And what you produce there, so you fill the tunnels on both the, the top and the bottom ends, you fill them, you pack them with cortical bone, um, you take out any of the screws and all the other bits and pieces, and then you leave the patient, um, you, the patient goes back and does their rehabilitation, and you leave them for five to six months. You let the, the bone form in the tunnel. Um, the reason we do that, so you have some surgeons who say, no, no, we can all do it in the same operation. We take out the old stuff and redrill. The problem when you actually even look at where, say, in the, um, uh, when you actually look at the, the place where you place the tunnels, you don't have a lot of room and you're always going to be, you're always, so if you've got one old hole, you're still going to be drilling back over that hole. So it's a bit like having, taking a picture off the wall. You've got a hole left there and the pictures come off. Well, you want to fill it first with a filler, leave it, let it get hard, and then redrill another hole that might be partly over that, and you'll get a better fixation. And time and time again, we've seen surgeons, because it's a selling point to patients, oh, we can all do it in one operation. The failure rate's much, much higher. So you need to fill it with cortical bone. You also, you're better to fill it with cortical bone, and, and they use a lot of synthetic bone, which is wrong. You, you just don't get as good a cortical bone. So it's really interesting when you look at an x-ray at five months of the um, bone crunch, you get this, you can, you can see it on the x-ray, it's, um, it's nice and white, it's thick cortical bone right through the middle, and that's a great base when you do the second operation. And the second one is the second stage operation where we re-drill. So take our message one, make sure it's drilled and packed with cortical, not synthetic. Two. Now, yes, the other point, you need to leave it for five to six months. <laughs> You've got some surgeons who go through and they go, oh, we'll just leave it for a month or two. It needs five to six months for that to really set. And then you do the second stage operation where they'll go through and now drill it properly. And so it needs to be a two-stage revision um, in almost every case. 